Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. This problem comes from an early round of the Norwegian Mathematical Olympiad. The numbers A, B, and C are positive integers. An apple cost A dollars, a banana cost B dollars, and a cherry cost C dollars. The cost of B apples, B bananas, and A plus B cherries is $77. What would be the cost for one apple, two bananas, and one cherry? I thank Oscar for sending me this puzzle by email. It seems like it's impossible to solve from the given information, and it stumps many people. Students were given about five minutes on average to solve problems like this. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So let's translate the given information into a mathematical equation. The total cost will equal the cost of an apple times the number of apples, plus the cost of a banana times the number of bananas, plus the cost of a cherry times the number of cherries. We know that an apple cost A dollars, a banana cost B dollars, and a cherry cost C dollars. Furthermore, we know the total cost is $77. To make this a little easier to read, I'll remove the dollar signs. Now we know we have B apples, B bananas, and A plus B cherries. So we can substitute in those values. So what can we do with this equation? Well, let's continue to see if there are any patterns in this equation. Notice that the first two terms have a common factor of B. So let's factor that B out and we have B times the quantity A plus B. In this next equation, we have a common factor of a plus b. So we'll factor that out, and we have a plus b times b plus c equals 77. Now we need to take advantage of another piece of information we were given. The numbers a, b, and c are positive integers. This means a plus b and b plus c have to be factors of 77. So what are the factors of 77? What two numbers could multiply together to be 77? Well, there are only a few possibilities. It can either be 1 times 77, or 77 times 1, or it can be 7 times 11, or 11 times 7. Those are the only possibilities because 7d7 has prime factors of 7 and 11. Since a, b, and c are positive integers, we also know that a plus b and b plus c have to be two or larger. They cannot be one. So this further removes the possibility that one of the factors is one. So we can eliminate the top two cases. This means we know the two factors are going to be seven and 11 or 11 and seven. And this will be what's needed to solve the problem. We want to find out the cost for one apple, two bananas, and one cherry. We can write this out as a plus 2b plus c. We can split up 2b into two terms of b, and then we can group this equation as a plus b plus b plus c. So the question is asking, what is the sum of the factors a plus b and b plus c? Well, it could either be 7 and 11, or it can be 11 and 7. And either way, it's going to be a total of 18. And that's our answer. The cost will be $18. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can support me on Patreon, and you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description. 
You can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.